G'day guys, welcome to Scotch Down Under. I'm Ken and today I'm doing a solo mini review of a couple of samples of whiskey that I bought from a company called Horny Pony here in Australia. So you get 15 or 30 mil samples from this this company in Australia that do some pretty epic stuff. So the next few reviews are going to be some pretty amazing samples that I've bought from them. So shout out to Horny Pony, their link will be in the description. Um, not sponsored by them, but they just do some really good samples. So the first one we're going to have is a Method Madness Single Pot Still Mulberry Cast Finish. <laughs> This one is from the Method of Madness from Middleton. If you don't know, Middleton does a, a series of experimental stuff with their master distillers and their apprentices, but they do all weird and wonderful stuff. Uh, so they're using their single pot Irish and then they finish it. This is the Mulberry, they've done a chestnut, they've done a French limousine oak and a bunch of other stuff. Um, Try to find the price of this one, but looking at the French Limousine and the um, the Chestnut one, they're around 120. So I'm not sure exactly what this one is going for. I couldn't really find any availability of it here in Australia, but it's 46%, uh, and it is done in first fill bourbon casks and um, refilled bourbon casks and then they're getting some mulberry from Hungary drying them out for a couple of years then sending them to Budapest at the cooperage over there and then they're turning in into 50 litre um, mulberry casks and then they're putting their spirit in there for three to eight months so pretty interesting Kind of thing. I've never had a Method Madness, so I hear about them all the time. Occasionally see them pop up here, but I've never tried one before, so we're going to dive into this and see what it's like. It's only 46, but straight off the nose, it, um, yeah, it's definitely got a bit of oomph behind it. There's some interesting notes going on in there, and I, I expect that from being white mulberry oak which is very supposedly it's quite porous and an interesting wood to work with you know it's not your typical oak it's kind of like a musty dusty kind of note on there there's a strange wood note I mean I'm probably guessing it's the mulberry but there's there's like a dusty, damp, kind of old school wood note to it. Yeah, this being an NAS, it's definitely got a, a youngish kind of nose to it. it. It's a little bit spirit forward, but then it's got that kind of oaky wood note underneath. There's a little bit of caramelly type sweetness on the top, but not much. Almost like a um, stewed apple as well, very subtly. Overall, the nose, there's not too much going on. Maybe it just needs to open up a bit in the glass. I mean, I'll add some water and I might crack it open a bit. Probably the power suggestion, but it does smell like um, some dried mulberry. Yeah, there's, there's almost like a dark berry kind of subtle oaky kind of note to it, but overall on the nose, yeah, just nothing, nothing outstanding. You know, it's not a, not a sherry bomb or any a PD or anything like that. It, it's kind of a dusty, musty, little spirit forward with a little bit of type sweetness. Let's dive in. Cheers.
Oh, wow. So a little bit thin on the finish, but yeah, there's a, I don't even know how to describe it. A very unique, um, kind of weird flavor going on. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness that was there for a split second and I it's took a small sip. Okay, there's a bit of finish coming through now. It kind of was a bit thin, being 46. I expected a bit more oil. Um, I don't know whether this is chill filtered or any of that. Okay, this does remind me of a note that I did get from a whiskey that actually had gone off. It's not exactly the same as that, but it's like a whiskey's been left out way too long, it's completely dissipated, there's no alcohol flavour. This has got alcohol because it's definitely hit me in the back of the nose. But it, I, I suspect it's that mulberry oak. It's very unique, very unique. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit of the single pot still coming through now. A bit of the sugar cookie kind of buttery kind of note coming through. But then there's that, that weird musky, dusty wood flavor as well. All right, one more sip and then we'll add some water. Yeah, it's very different. Very different. Almost a nutty kind of note as well. The finish is not very long. Right at the end of the finish, it's when it's, your palate starts to dry out a little bit, it's a little bit stringent. So it does dry out a little bit towards the end. And then there's almost, almost like a pine oak. A pine, uh, like seasoned pine. It's different, it's definitely different. It reminds me of a couple of flavours like the Cast Project. Okay, this is a lot sweeter now. It's almost a floral note coming through. Stall got that ABV on the nose. It's a floral thing. It almost, almost like rose petal, almost. Almost, 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 almost. And the palette completely flattened, gone. There's not much there, and then on the swallow, you get that weird, dusty, dank and mulberry oak kind of flavour. It's different. I mean, I can't say I've ever chewed on a piece of mulberry wood, so yeah, I mean, I've eaten lots of mulberries, and sometimes when you get ones that's a bit sour, it's almost like that. Not the sour thing, but like the aftertaste you get from the after the, the sour bit's gone from like a, yeah, one that's a bit off. Then maybe a slight hint of orange, coconut, but it's very faint. Yeah, that weird oak, not oak, that weird wood note. There's a stringity, soury kind of tart thing that's going on. It hits you way at the back of the throat. And there's some other, it's very subtle, but 
That, that dusty, dank wood note is overpowering. Yeah, I, I don't know what to think about this one. It's, it's, it's different. I might have to come back to it and try some more. It's, uh, it's very unique. It's very unique. Other than that cast project and a whiskey that's gone off, it's about the only thing I can relate it to. I've heard like the Chestnut and the French Limousine and a few of the other the Method Madnesses are really good, but some, you know, I mean, these are experimental whiskies, so, you know, some are going to be hitters, some are going to be not so much, but it's good to see Milton doing this different kind of messing around with different woods and maturations and stuff to, um, yeah, hopefully come up with some very cool unique things it's definitely unique you can't can't dispute that yeah uh i, I don't know what I, i'd score this probably a seven and a half i'd say you know it's not horrible but it's not something i'd gravitate towards all the time and it, it's very strange it's very strange but i'll come back to it i'll let it I'll let it sit in the bottle. I've only had half of it. So I'll let it sit in the bottle and come back to it in a couple of weeks and I'll put some comments down below if I find any different notes that come out of it. But yeah, if you find any of these uh, Method of Madnesses or you've had any, let, let us know down below what ones you've had and if you liked them or what ones you didn't like. This one is, yeah, like I say, very unique. And I, I look forward to trying some more of them. There you go. That's the Method of Madness Mulberry Cask. Until next time, have a good one.